While in a part, you may click your Help button at any time to assist. Click the section you wish to investigate and the specific icon you want to look up. The software will then give you a detailed description of how this feature works. You may also use, within the Drawing or Tooling tab, the Toolbar Help button. Turn this icon on and click the specific icon you wish to look up. In this case, we'll use Auto Tool. This feature opens the help file for this specific icon, once again giving detailed information of how this icon is to work. Once you are done, close this feature. We will close this now and begin bringing CAD into our DiamondSoft software. There are two options for bringing in CAD into DiamondSoft. One is to create the part using a 2D CAD package or using the import button. We may also use the file pull down import option. We have both 2D and 3D CAD import capabilities. We will be using the 2D DXF option. Using a Windows dialog and thumbnails to confirm our part shape, we will select our DXF and open the part. A cleanup dialog appears, which allows us to remove any erroneous geometry, such as any points or duplicate lines. Doing this will ensure an easier laser cam process later on. The software will also note any bad geometry or breaks with red circles. For this we highlight open polylines. The software also can relocate your drawing from anywhere on the sheet back to the zero zero origin position. We may also ignore any layers in the DXF drawing. This will avoid conflicts due to layer names later on. Using the Coerce Together Nodes That Are Closer Than option allows us to close up any small breaks in geometry. We're careful not to use a large value here as it might collapse a notch on the edge of your part. We use the Line Segments to connect up curves that don't exactly meet. This will ensure any arcs will close, as well as vectorizing